morning my scrapbooking friends this is scrapping Tess and I am here with a couple layouts I um, have taken on the challenge of allowing myself to use my credit cartridges and I have been creating a bunch of cutouts and putting together page you know pre page pre-made pages so that I can just put some pictures on because I'm really behind on my photos. So on this one I paper pieced the Sleeping Beauty. Um, it's got three layers and I popped it up to give it dimension and then I added um, I don't remember her name she's from Sesame Street and I glossy accented her eyes I don't know you see that what a difference that makes and I stickled up her wand and I think this layout came out really cute. That's my daughter Natalia. Oops, there you go. And she was just snoozing away and I snapped some shots with my camera and actually with my iPod and when I zoomed in the quality is not very good but you can still tell. So I got that done and I'm using, I'm challenging myself to use um, some of my old paper packs as well. So this is not so old. Um, this was fairly new. I got it Hobby Lobby but um, yeah. I don't remember the name of it, but I glossy accented her mouth and I glossy accented her eyes and I really like the way it came out and I put stickles in, in her little hair thing. So, there you go. Okay, for the next one, this one's not, it doesn't have any photos in it yet, but I'm, I'm thinking about using it for either an Easter layout or, because I have some past Easter uh, things to do, or a camping, because those are the two things... I know I have pictures of but this is Thumper and I just made him a little bit larger I used um, on the grass here I used some die cuts with a view out pre uh, it's already pre um, adhesived on the back and then I used my uh, Cricut pins to give it a, a cute border you see the border? I don't know if you can see the inked border. But that just took an extra moment. And then I, on the tree, I ran it through my cuddle bud. Can you see that? To give it some background, some lift. On my butterfly there, I glossy accented it. I don't know if you can tell. I glossy accented Thumper's eyes. And I just like the way that the simplicity of this layout. Um, it is a two-page layout, but I don't have anything on the other side because that's going to be where my title is. Okay. For the next one, I played around with my Cricut cartridge. Um, and I believe that one's called Everyday Paper Doll or Paper Doll Dress Up. I think it's Everyday Paper Doll. And I created a little barbecue dude. Um, and I believe I'm going to use this for when my, my son, uh, Joseph, and my husband were barbecuing some uh, meat and he was letting uh, Joseph turn it and stuff and it's really cute but those photos are to come um, it is a two page layout but until I find out what I want to use for um, for the title it's just one that I'm going to show I think I might do some little smoky things coming out as well but I'm not sure but this was old paper that I'd had in my stash that I bought at a local scrapbook store that I had um, in a kit that I never put together so I just wanted to make sure I did it so that was fun I also used my Cricut pins I don't know let me bring it up to see that that's using my Cricut pins I used a white gel pin for his eyes and some glossy accents and on this piece of flesh color I also the brown there is also using my Cricut pins so I Cricut I used my Cricut pins on everything but the shoes Okay. It's been really fun using my Cricut. I need to learn to how to do more. Um, this is the little fish from Pinocchio, and I love the way this turned out. This is an old, old, old die cuts with a view, or I don't even remember, either die cuts with a view, or I got it at the scrapbook store, and I loved it, and I just never used it. I have a lot of that kind of paper. I forget that I have. And I made a two-page spread. Um, here's the other side. It's going to look, it's going to have white and it's going to have the sun on the other side. I don't know if you can see that. It's just white. But anyways, um, there's the sun on this side and it'll have blue mats and then my photos. And then you see these little 
bubbles right here. Those are my pony bead handmade enamel dots that I learned how to make here on YouTube and I'm just so excited because I have a few layouts that I use them on. I um can you see that? You can see. I um stickled up her little fins. Can you see that? There you go. And I glimmer um um glossy accented her eyes and her mouth and I put um a small cute little are they one of these glitter ones that I got in the center. See I got all these little glitter sequenced. Oh I love them. Loving them. Um, glitter sequence and I put that one in the middle and I put a little bit of stickles in it to make it bling a little bit more. Not that it needed it, but I did. And that's that. And I put some little kale there. I think that came out really cute. I can't wait to put some photos on it. I've got a lot of lake photos um, and a lot of um, a lot of camping photos. Okay, so this photo was of me getting a haircut back in June of 2011. And my sister cut my hair from my waist to my chin. And I loved the way it came out. I don't know if I could do it again, but I love the way it came out. And so I just put Tinkerbell up there and sitting there looking. And then that's my sister Janelle and myself getting my hair cut. And then I added some more of the little sequins in the tree there. So again, I used an old, uh, an old Easter stack. I think it might be die cuts with a view or something, but yep, just getting rid of that old stuff. So there are some layouts that I wanted to share. Um, there are two page, I mean, one page or two page layouts that only one of the pages are ready. Um, I also have some more layouts that I've used my um, Cricut with, but those, oh, here they are. But are those I'm going to show one at a time. So this one, we went to Dylan, we went crabbing at Dylan Beach. Again, in this corner, I just made Dylan Beach, and I did a crab. I don't know if you can see the little pieces, and then I, on the top right here, I did a lot of, um, I used a lot of the um, glossy accents. I love this stuff. It just gives life to everything. And then here are my little beads. Yay! I love those handmade ones. Fun. And then on the opposite side... I don't know if you can see, I use some washi tape right here, an old piece of surfing paper there. And on this side, I have a crab and then some like little rocks. I use the little pony beads that I melted down here. And I just think that came out cute. See that? Anyway, so that's another one. I'm just using my Cricut like a mad woman, I tell you. Just started cricketing and this one I used my white gel pen and just did some tick marks around it and I also glassy accented his eyes. I don't know if you can see the gl glimmer on that, but that was really fun. And then for this one, it doesn't have um, anything to it yet, but I'm going to add, they're just, the mats are very are placed very, very easily just so that I kind of have an idea where I want them, but I could change them if my pictures are in the other direction. But this one um, is from Camping Critters, and what I did is I used my my pins again, my Cricut pins, and so each piece that I cut out, I went ahead and did the Cricut brown color to it, and I added the enamel dots that I had made from the pony beads down at the bottom to give it some dimension, and I just think it came out really good. I popped it up twice off the shadow and off, and off the, the bottom of the paper. It just came out really cute. I think that'll make a really cute little boy page. And then for the other side, I made my title. So, fun at the lake. And then using camping critters again, I made a little picture of the lake. And I just love the way it came out. Just so fun. Okay. My husband likes to take my boys fishing a lot, so, um, oh, and this is an old, old, old piece of paper. This is Basil 
Swiss Basil Swiss or whatever these these papers right here but this right here is an old piece of paper I just threw in there because it looked good um, this one as well I think it I got it at the old old scrapbook store um, but I made this with when with camping critters and this again I is some grass that I got I would just cut it out with my Cricut and then I ran it through my cuddle bug and then I went ahead and um, added some ink to it but on the um, on this one I glossy accented all the eyes and I only went on the outline of the shadow with my Cricut pin with my brown Cricut pins and I think it came out good as well I um, just tore out some water here to make it give it a little seam I just like the way this came out. Big, I, I made a big mat here to enhance a picture that I know I have for this with my son Andrew and Joseph and Matthew and my husband Anthony. And then on this side for part of the title I put back to nature and then I, I'm going to put a date and a journal block right here. But those are my layouts. Um, that is me using my Cricut. I really, um, I've really been having a good time with it. I've really been enjoying cutting and and piecing it together. I've been using my handy dandy tweezers. I love them. That's the way I get, you know, hold on to my little pieces. And there's a glue that I really love. It is called the Mono Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. It's green and white, and I have two of them floating around. And that's the adhesive I've been using besides my um my double, you know, my thick foamy stuff. Um, this one right here besides this foam stuff which I'm hoping to go to Expo and purchase some more and um, in, on Saturday so yay me <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my layouts uh, comment below if you have any questions as to what cartridges I used or anything like that just give me a, a, a quick PM or message me and I'd be happy to let you know thanks for watching bye all